Hello everyone. In our previous video, we demonstrated how to create Azure free trial subscription and mentioned that free trial subscription is limited for 30 days only. So after 30 days or who cannot create Azure free trial subscription, how we can practice on Azure services? This question is there for you, right? So here in this video, I'm talking about the option which will help us to do laps in Azure portal with some limitation. The option we have here is Azure Sandbox. In this video, I'll explain about Azure Sandbox and how we can activate Azure Sandbox. So why waiting? Let's get started to my channel, Cloud Learner Pro. Let us see how we can create a Azure Sandbox account. For this, I'm going to Azure Sandbox URL. So I'll paste this URL in the video description for your reference. So once you open this link, you can able to see the option sign into activate sandbox. So click on this option to sign into activate your sandbox. Once you click on it, it will ask you to log in with your email ID. You can provide a new email ID or if you have existing, you can go and select the existing ID like how I'm doing here. So once my ID is authenticated, it will give me details saying with which ID I logged in. So if you are okay with the ID with which you logged in, you can go and click on the next button. Once you click on next, it will take you to the profile creation page where you have to provide display name. I'm providing cloud learner as the display name and then I'm going to click on the next button. Once I click on next button, it will take me to the page where I'll have to provide email address for the notification and region. Then I'm clicking on next where it is taking me to the roles that I'm interested. I'm going to select the roles where or which I'm interested. So I'm going to select administrator and I'm going to select support engineer here after which I'm going to click on next button. Once we click on next, it will take me to a page where it will ask me to select the level. So I'm going to select advanced here and clicking on next. Then I'm going to select the products which I'm interested with like Azure, GitHub, SQL Server, Windows. So these are the options which I'm selecting and I'm going to click on this next button. So once everything is done, it will give you a congratulation message. After that, you can go and click on the OK button to complete the setup. Once it is done, it will validate, it will authenticate and then it will show us a message activate sandbox. If you click on it, it will verify your permissions and it will ask you to verify your account by following some uh, puzzles, whereas it will identify you are not a bot. It will confirm you, you are a real person by doing this puzzles. So it will give you one or two puzzles, which you'll have to complete guys. So once you complete these puzzles, it will take you to a page where you can review your permissions. Once you click on this review permissions, which is visible on the screen, it will take you to a different page where you'll have to accept the permissions which are provided by Microsoft Learn Sandbox. So this is the page where you'll have to accept the permissions provided by Microsoft Learn Sandbox. I'm clicking on accept. So once it is authenticated, it will take me to the next page. After that, it will again take me to the Azure Sandbox URL where it will verify the permissions and then it will activate the sandbox for us. So now whatever you're seeing on the screen, this is the process of activating your sandbox by verifying your permissions or by verifying your ID details and all. So this whole process hardly took five minutes for me. If you wait for five minutes, this entire process will complete like it will it will reach to 100% and then it will show us sandbox is activated. So hardly it took five minutes, I can say. So let's wait for it to complete. Yes, it is completed and it, it is showing me sandbox is activated and I'm having four hours of time limitation to use this Azure sandbox. So once this sandbox is activated, let's verify the sandbox subscription. 
For this, I'm going to log into Azure portal to verify a Azure Sandbox subscription. I'm logging into Azure portal now. So once after you log into Azure portal, on the top right hand side, you can see Microsoft Learn Sandbox because we activated the Microsoft Azure Sandbox now. So that's the reason we are able to see it. Then I'm going to search for subscription. I can able to see Concert subscription here, which is the Microsoft Azure Sandbox subscription. So hope you understand now how we can able to create or activate Azure Sandbox and how we can able to view the subscription inside the portal as well. Now in the Azure Sandbox subscription, let us create one service. For example, we'll create one storage account in the Sandbox account. Again, I came to Azure portal. In the Azure portal, I will go to storage account service. In the storage account service, I'll click on create button to create a storage account. Here, I'm going with the default options of subscription and resource group, and I will provide a name for a storage account. Let us provide a name for storage account. Then I'm going to choose the region as East US. I'm not changing the region here. I'm going to change the redundancy to LRS and I'm going to click on review plus create. So once you click on review plus create, it will run a validation test. Once the validation is passed, I will click on create button. So we can see the initializing deployment message on the top right hand side. So that means your storage account deployment is initiated. So after some time, you will be able to see a success message which says your storage account is created. So let's wait for some time so that the deployment will complete. After that, we will go inside the storage account and we'll validate whether the storage account is reflecting under the right subscription or not. So let's wait for a couple of minutes for the deployment to complete here. Like this, we will be able to create services in our Microsoft Azure Sandbox guys. So if you want to continue practice on Azure services without creating a Azure Freetail account or after 30 days of Azure Freetail account expiry, you can use a account of Microsoft Azure Sandbox to practice on Azure services. I can say this is one of the useful option for those who cannot create Azure Freetail accounts. The deployment which we have initiated is completed now. So let us go to the resource by clicking on the option available on the screen. Let's validate the storage account is created under Microsoft Azure Sandbox. So you can see on the screen, it is created on the Microsoft Azure Sandbox subscription, which is Consort subscription. So this is how you can create the resources, guys. We also have some limitations in Microsoft Azure Sandbox subscriptions. So when you're creating those resources in Microsoft Sandbox subscription, understand what services are available and what services are not available. I'll share you on URL in this video description to understand those limitations as well. Please go through it and understand the services availability as well. Here comes the end of this video. If you feel the video is informative for you, please support my channel by subscribing to the channel and sharing it with your friends. Thank you so much.